Watson and Crick Legends. My name is Francis Crick, and I was born in Britain. My name is James Watson, and I was born in the good old U.S. of A. We're on a likely team, but together we made one hell of a discovery. Uh, the elusive molecule uh, known as DNA has been known about since Menacher in 18... Over the years, more and more we learned about this macromolecule until it was suggested DNA carries genes and information for the coding of life. We both got interested in DNA while working together at Cambridge University in England. And as we both then decided to try and find the shape of DNA, parts of DNA had already been discovered, yet no one had yet been able to figure out how it was pieced together. So, at the time, uh, Watson and I were very confused as to what bonds with what, even though um, the base pairs, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine were known, and as well as the phosphate, sugar, backbone, those were also known. Uh, Donahue, uh, one of our fellow chemist friends, helped us uh, in a very important way by showing us that uh, guanine does not bond to thymine or adenine, instead it bonds to cytosine. The same with adenine and thymine. For a time, they had believed, like their lifelong rival Pauling, that the structure was actually a triple helix with phosphates in the center, since all this seemed to fit the density data and the fact that the sugar phosphates was just a repeating sequence. Until one day, it all seemed to fit until they were given photo 51. That Rosalind Franklin had taken by a mysterious man. One, quick, mm -hmm. yeah. Sometime later, uh, Watson and I got photo 51. Um, this allowed us to see DNA in its pure extended wet form, clearly showing uh, both two-folded symmetry. This uh, ruled out Pauling's three-stranded st structure and brought us to the uh, double helix-like structure that uh, Watson and I just built. These two men were later given the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their great discovery on how genetic information is transferred. He also accepted, accepted the reward award together. together with one of their partners, yet Rosalind Franklin died before the awards were handed out, and she did not notice any credit. Still, these people sparked a whole new era in the sciences. Everything from biotechnology and medicine were affected. Yeah. Okay. Thank you on behalf of the group and ourselves. I hope we pass the audition. <laughs>